Welcome back to Let's Play Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Ass beating 101 for whatever unlucky nation is against me next. And who is that unlucky nation? I do not know. But we're about to find out in a second, are we not, my dear friends? So, last time we absolutely crushed the Nordic team in a very crushing victory. I'm not very good at adjectives today. But yeah, they got wiped and now we're going to wipe someone else. Simple as that, really. As you can see, my lead is now extending towards the 3,000 point region. The Nordic team have dropped to fourth after their humiliating defeat. And Bulgaria maintains second place, but France is really, really catching up with them. So, round 12. Japan takes England, France takes on the Nordic team. Spain is taking on us today at their stadium, and that's a new team for us, actually. We had, I don't think we've taken on Spain yet, and it'll be a new stadium to explore. And Germany takes on Australia, so yeah. This could be interesting, taking on the Spanish in their own home turf. Guess we've got to go over and deliver the first kicking of the ass, and then we'll, they can come to us, and then we'll kick their ass again, but yeah. Let's not get too cocky, maybe Spain will be the one team who tries. And then we've still got Bulgaria to deal with, but for now, we'll deal with Spain. Please, Spain, please try. Hello there, this is Ludo Bagman, speaking to you from the Spanish National Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the USA and Spain. Over to you, Millie. Tonight's game's in Spain, where it's dusty and sweaty too. Maybe dusty and sweaty, but this is one hell of a cool looking stadium, actually, so yeah. And the Spanish actually get got initiative and however they're like wearing body they're all like just like bullfighters, weren't they? Kinda of cool actually. Not that I'm saying bullfights are cool, I think they're a bit of a dickhead, but you know. It's like the only team that bothers with like looking ceremonial wearing armor and stuff, you know, because you know this is a game where you're getting beaten up frequently by those bludgers. And by the way, yes, the Spanish team does suck. Already 20 now to me. Yeah, he's just clapping. Still hasn't received like medical attention since last game. I worry about his health. Oh well, whatever. Right, come on team, just keep playing. Just take them out. Make a quick, clean victory, because I can already see the way it's going. He can't though. He can't see anything now. He didn't get that medical treatment in time. Right, come on. Keep passing and passing and passing and passing and passing and pass some more. And then score again. 40 nil. Still continue to be sad about how I'm winning that way. These are very hollow victories. Hollow in the fact that they're not really uh, unfulfilled. I'm kind of wishing I was playing Space Engineers right now. So I've literally learned how to spawn planets in that game. So I downloaded, the first thing I downloaded was Mustafa of Star Wars. So now I have a big fuck off lava planet in my world. Which is actually great for staging battles up against. Uh, not many enemies tend to come by my area. I should probably play some physical to play on Space Engineers or something. I should just do Space Engineers videos at some point. I mean, it's a game I'm not terrible at. I think I'm actually, I think I am, I am, I don't know. I think I'm at that stage in my life now where I've played so many video games because I've been gaming all my life, but I'm actually not good at video games. Like, I just have a natural skill, an innate skill for video games. Kind of annoying to admit because I don't know. I don't like admitting I'm a game or something. That's, that's not good. I should be proud of who I am. proud of my game. I should not see it as a stigma. The fact that, you know, I should not, you know, I should not be afraid to admit I never leave the house and I have no real life friends and stuff like that and that I've just basically now had to drop kick another Spanish person. There we go. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk out my therapy with my friends. I said, I'm not a therapist because I'm not like, you know, in need of therapy right now. Right now, I'm in need of a challenging opponent on this game. Something which I seem to be having to live without. Because right now, all we have to be receiving are welts and welts and welts and welts. By the way, bludgeon him, come on. Bludgeon him. Look. Take him out. Thank you very much. Just pass it. And pass it. And pass it once more. There we go. Oh, a nice combo by the Oh, come on. You blew the combo. I wanted a five combo there. Oh, well. Try again. Okay, is it possible to even get a five combo on here? We've never really seen one, have we? Oh, well. Here's a free combo. And then a four combo. Oh, there we go. Five combo. And it became a gold combo. And look at that. That actually massively boosted my stitch progress. We just got to do that again. 
just got spam out by a big combo. It's meant to go home early, basically. Oh, CDP guy on the Black Ops 2 was like, I was like, come on, let's go. Who were the CDP, by the way? Were they like, like space communists or something in Black Ops 3? Because the game had made no sense of all these stupid factions and only two of them played in multiplayer. And so on so far from other factions should really ever be appearing because, yeah, you know, even though I liked it, Black Ops 3 multiplayer was kind of shit. And to us, I'm not going to be buying the most Call of Duty at any time soon that I have played. Like, well, says, well, that was really good because, to be honest, I'm not really sure that it's going to be good. I feel like they're just baiting or something, I don't know. By the way, Dinkley drop. Just Dinkley drop it. I like the bing bong sound when you uh, uh it's not a bing, it's like a ding bong. Uh, you know, I like that sound that's made when um, you smell gold. And by the way, let's just appreciate the aesthetics of this area. Because one, there's been some sort of effort being made on the lighting. Not much, but you know. Like I said, this is one real cool stadium, which is like a proper arena and stuff. I'm fucked behind this from like people who don't do the whole magic thing I do not know. But it just looks so cool. I mean, it really does. Ah, that stitch will turn up soon. It always turns up soon. Right, anyway. That's taken, and now let's just put the... There we go. See, I'm... Ah, you couldn't special move me there, because I'm doing my combo again, and I just cancelled you out, biotch. Right, there we go. Right, and score it. And look at that, a lovely big booster snitch power I just got there. But seriously, this is such a cool-looking stage. I mean... I kind of feel like building this on Minecraft now, but then again, I've already built something very similar to this on the current Minecraft world I'm on. Except I filled it with lava, because that's what you do on Minecraft, and that's what I do. Lava's just a lazy guy solution to what you And it's a lazy guy solution to lighting, even if he doesn't care about his own health. There's even a healer's solution to lighting stuff up on Minecraft. But you would need a higher IQ to understand how to do that, right, anyway. But then again, my IQ isn't going to do fantastic. I haven't had it tested at any point, but I don't know. Maybe if I watch an episode of Rick and Morty, I'll try to understand what my IQ is. Yeah, I'll try that at some point. It should probably give me a very, very definitive test. It should be enough to beat up some people, people who keep challenging people to other IQ tests and current affairs and stuff like that. Like, shut up, me. Let's get a bludger in this guy's face and just tell him to Because right now, I've got these guys suppressed to hell. Oh, very threatening there, Mr. Spanish guy. I'll just take that right back off. Actually, oh dear. Oh, good pass, actually. Good pass. Oh, but it's mine now. I'll just dodge you because just basically make my quick getaway. Build up a quick combo just to basically juice the snitch. And, oh dear, I didn't quite make it this time. Okay, I'll make it next time. I mean, here we go. Oh dear, I think I've tasted your combo there, Spain. Boom, done. Drop kicked. Whatever. Done. Right. Finish it, lads. And lass. Just, you know, I want this game over now. Not that I'm bored or anything, but, you know, these Spanish have humoured me for long enough. And now they've just proven themselves once more to be a very incompetent team. Maybe even going to get their special move. Then again, if I say that, I'll get it right now. And I won't have a perfect victory. The thing is, I don't exactly get how you unlock it. I mean, it doesn't seem to be like a special requirement. It seems to be awarded at random. I have yet to spot the pattern. I mean, maybe it is an obvious pattern, but to be honest, I have yet to spot it. Maybe I'll have to go and investigate my previous videos and see what the correlation is between special moves and um, that happens. You know, between team special moves and how to earn them. Because right now, I just don't understand. So it's just really basically the look of a dice. I like the look of a dice sometimes, but here, it's you know, I don't know. It's not detrimental. Now, there's another gun. I think that makes it, what, 140 to me now? Oh, no, 100. I mean, look, there we go. Team special move. What the hell did I do to earn it? Absolutely wipe out Spain because it's not like I need it right now, but they could need it. And, oh, no, I, I dropped the quaffle, right? Get it back and Dinky drop them. My son, how earned Dinky drop. And I don't know how I earned it, but there we go. I 
pointed out at any point in this playthrough by the way how fucking stupid those one of the dominant things are. I had a really loud windows and I don't know if it's my laptop blowing up behind me or um, I'm, I'm scared. I think it was my phone actually making the noise, but I don't know. Oh look, you've got your special moves somehow, Spain. I hope my Elgin Auto hasn't just actually no, I hope my Elgin Auto hasn't blown up actually. I'm sort of like just looking half at my computer screen now, just trying to work out if it has to be It looks like it's recording, so yes. So that was a weird loud noise I just heard then. I think my laptop just cleared up and died. Oh well, whatever. Let's just get that snitch and end this game. I on my phone. Yes, I did. Outlook. And yes, I know I'm supposed to do a special route, but right now I'm more interested in reading my, reading my emails. Oh, by the way, pretty cool, Spain, but right now I'm just reading my, I'm reading my emails. Yes, I think that was the Fernandez fight. Thank you very much. Right. I just got a very interesting email, and now I will continue playing this game. Oh, by the way, we're really only 10 points, Spain. Even your special move sucks, doesn't it? Now I just feel sorry for you all. Should I feel sorry for you? I don't know. I guess kind of. Some poor animator out there, or someone couldn't be bothered animating a special move. That would get you 20 points. No, just 10 points for you, Spain. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? I bet I could. I, I, I haven't read this email in a while, but I bet I could read that entire email and still like win. Like I could probably play like fucking playing while well, playing Wordscape on the phone or something at this point. Right anyway, there we go. And right, is that snitch coming or what? Because I've, I've seen I've seen that big group, not, not group, but, you know, that big gold ball been blowing for some time now. Could it just get it over and done with and show its bloody face? So we can just all be distracted by its prettiness. I'm glad to just keep up building this combo and there we go. Right, look, that snitch is full. The balls have come together and I got my last minute goal. End of story. Now just give me that sweet, sweet, sweet snitch juice. Or I'm going to some again. Just play to make it, so I don't know. I'll just get yeah, there we go. Another goal and I get the snitch. That goal better count, by the way. I will not be checking because I'm too lazy for maths right now. Right, boost into the ball again. Maybe this is in the region. Wee! Oh, this is in. Uh, this station is I mean, not station, but this thing is actually quite fun to fly around because it's so, it looks so cool. Wee! Oh, my. Oh, damn it. Right, come on, we can catch it better than that. Come on, catch it! Oh, I won, by the way. Is this supposed to be happening? Okay, that was the quietest celebration ever. Um, yay! By the way, I've unlocked the Spanish stadium for free play. Good, good. Um, by the way, here's the stats. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to read them. Absolute knockout. Absolute bloody knockout again. <sighs> Still, I think that's all but one team we face now. Just Bulgaria left to face. And, uh, well, I think we're very close to the end of the tournament itself. I mean, what one? That was round 12, so now, round 13 next. Only five rounds to go, and then we're at the end of it. The end. The World Cup will be won, and someone will lift it up. I wonder who? Probably going to be the fucking Nordic team or something. Anyway, that's what we're going to call it an episode. We'll quickly check off the other scores, and then, yeah, we'll call that a day. So... Let's see who scored what, who did what. Did anyone do well or was it just me again? I think it was just me. Let's see. Japan, uh, oh wow. Japan and England had a somewhat okay game actually. It must have been a no score draw and then Japan just winged it with a snitch because once more, yeah, bullshit. Uh, France got nuked by the Nordic team somehow, as did Spain, but Spain got the harder nuking. And Germany and Australia had actually a, very, a fairly balanced game except Australia probably bullshitted their way to victory with the snitch because yeah, once more the snitch mechanic in this game is stupid fucking bullshit. Like seriously, it's very unfair. Anyway, seriously, if I was a chaser, I'd like feel I'd have a, I'd have no job satisfaction whatsoever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And next time, round 13, and maybe a game worth watching. Nah, I'm just kidding. I think they're all going to be easy, but I'm going to have to try and do something to amend this, aren't I, to save this sinking ship of a let's play. 
because of this sinking ship of a game which does not understand what difficulty is. Can't believe it took us to over half a ton to unlock the next difficulty level. I think this game's babying me somewhat or holding my hand too tightly. Oh well. See you on the next episode, folks.